You're watching Talk of the Town on Cambridge Cable TV 2 and a new Concord on Orbit TV 9. Coming up on this edition of the show, we'll find out what's going on at Zane State College from Heather Mary and Elizabeth McCune. Josh Hott and Brooke Clendenning talk about an upcoming Walk for Water fundraiser. And Angel Watkins and Leanne Oliver tell us all about Guernsey Industries activities. It's all ahead on this edition of Talk of the Town. From the U.S. Bank Studios, it's Talk of the Town with Perry Baranich. Welcome to another brand new edition of Talk of the Town. We're coming to you as always from U.S. Bank Studio in beautiful downtown Cambridge. One of the sunny days that we have in March today. <laughs> Very few of those, but they are nice to see. Hey, my first, first guests are Heather Mary, who is a clinical counselor at Zane State College. And then I have Elizabeth McCune, who is a student in the uh, Social Work Assistant Program. Good to see you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice Hi. to meet you, to as meet always. You. Um, so let's talk about uh, the clinic, clinical counseling side mm -hmm. of Zane State college. Mm -hmm. um, what exactly do you focus on? So the counseling service that Zane State College provides um, is completely free for students, which is a fantastic benefit for them. Um, any student who's registered for classes may utilize this service. So if you're taking classes at the Cambridge campus or Zanesville campus or even our online learners, it's available to them. Okay, um, and one of the things I read was utilizing counseling to manage stress, anxiety, mm -hmm. and depression. Do mm -hmm. you see that a lot more nowadays? I, I think what we're seeing is the nation trend is that college students who are seeking out support on campus, what they're talking to their counselors about is just general ways to manage stress, but then also reduce symptoms that are connected to depression and anxiety. Um, so. The hope is by having the service available to them on campus that they'll be proactive um, and reach out for that help and to learn healthy ways to deal with some of those symptoms that they would identify as a barrier to their academic success. Okay, so it's, it's, a, good, it's a good point to, uh, to have a, a resource to go to if you are experiencing some of these things Absolutely. rather than to keep them bottled up inside and who knows what will happen. Absolutely, and then even me when meeting with students, if they are um, experiencing maybe high distress or maybe they need some more intensive services than what is offered on the campus, it's a great opportunity to collaborate and get them connected early to some of those community resources that are available to them. Okay, and, and again, that's, that's kind of like an outreach thing, is mm -hmm. it not? Yes, so we do also do outreach um, on our campus. So if students um, don't ever utilize the counseling resources, I think it's important to still give them mental health awareness, suicide prevention education. Um, some of our outreach includes what's available to them online through our website, but also talking in classrooms, having those discussions with students so they're aware of what resources are available and how to access them. Um, nationwide resources that we have include the Suicide Prevention Lifeline and the Crisis Text Line, mm -hmm. but also giving them more information on um, maybe some mental health issues that are relevant to them. Uh, what, what drove you to the counseling side of things? What got you involved with that? It's always been a passion of mine um, and I was fortunate enough to be accepted into a program here locally where I was able to get my master's in counseling. Great. But I just I enjoy working with, um, with students especially um, in the time here at the college. That is, that's awesome. Thank you. Because, you know, it, it, it takes a special person to deal with people, you know, and, and it, 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 yeah, it is. So I want to talk to uh, Elizabeth for just a minute. Elizabeth McCune, again, the Social Work Assistant Program is uh, what you're enrolled in. First off, why did you uh, choose Zane State College? You probably could have gone anywhere. Why did you choose Zane State? Uh, well, I live in Cambridge, and I chose Zane State because it's close, you mm -hmm. know. Um, yeah, and I hear that Cambridge a lot. campus, yes. Mm -hmm as well as the Zanesville campus. Now, I do have to attend the Zanesville campus for the courses uh, they're not offered in Cambridge, but it's, you know, 20 minutes from mm -hmm, home. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, I've learned th through the last couple of years that it's an excellent program, mm -hmm. and um, we have a lot of hands-on experience. You know, we get to, uh, to take, uh, like, group dynamics course where we set up in groups and take interviewing classes so we know how to interview clients and deal with groups and facilitate mm -hmm. groups and um, also uh, it, it's Zane State is cheaper <laughs> you know com comparable to cost the is a lot yeah when you look at schools today you also mentioned that uh, the flexibility was very important to you very much Why very is that? much so I work okay and so I just take classes part-time so that I can work and and it works with my schedule excellent you know I and can fit in work and classes when we're and juggling homework. 50 things that is very important it's very today. important I right. did want to mention that March is social work awareness month mm -hmm. um, 
Um, why did you choose the field that you're going into? Um, I like helping others. Um, I've worked in a, in a field of helping others most of my life and I'm interested in the addictions area. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's, it's a problem everywhere uh, and, and I don't see it going away and I know that um, there's so much help out there and we have to network with, mm -hmm. with people so mm -hmm. that they are aware of it mm -hmm. first off and then hopefully we'll reach out mm -hmm. you know to receive that help yeah that that's a that's a great mm -hmm. thing i mean social work is a great great field mm -hmm. and it's it's so multifaceted mm -hmm. is it not mm -hmm. yeah, it is it's very broad you know it is you, very you broad. can you can work in the schools with the kids all ages uh, preschools head start um, you can work in hospitals uh, to assist uh, the patients there to, for their home care needs, uh, nursing homes, you you know, help mm -hmm. them to mm -hmm. get home and get mm -hmm. all the um, mm -hmm. things that they would need to be home. Uh, like I said, in the addictions field, also they work uh, with just in the local communities to help mm -hmm. those who are less fortunate. You know, um, maybe with something very small. Mm -hmm. You know, it might seem very mm -hmm. small to the average person, mm -hmm. but it's a huge impact on their sure. daily activity. Sure. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, you have the, the the prisons. You know, working with the transitioning them out into the community. So, so there's a lot involved mm -hmm. with social mm -hmm. work. Would you recommend Zane State College? Absolutely. Okay, we've Absolutely. got to put that in there, too. Yes. Get that I'll in second there. that. Yes. You'll second that <laughs> yes. as well. But I know, Heather, you wanted to stress that these services that you provide, the counseling mm -hmm. services, are available to all students. They are available to all students. Um, and again, it is completely free. So it is a big benefit for our students to be able to come on their own um, and, and utilize this, come up with... Um, so some alternative ways to deal with stress especially um, but also just learn some healthy ways to improve their lifestyle and again get them back on track this is definitely advocated for it to be preventative mm -hmm. to help students mm -hmm. along mm -hmm. the way but also in that time of need or in that time of distress it's going to be there for you too that, that is so awesome you said that because if you can prevent it you know it's easier to prevent it than it is Mm -hmm. a lot of times to treat it mm -hmm. uh, once it's already taken root. So Right, to at least have a, a good handful of coping skills mm -hmm. um, and, mm -hmm. and awareness of things that you can do to try to work through and manage those stressors um, is very important. If uh, somebody wants to find out more, mm -hmm. um, how can they do that? Um, they can go to our Zane State website. Um, we have a counseling web page um, that is available um, that has all of my contact information, include, including how to make an appointment. Um, students can make an appointment a couple different ways. They can use the appointment, which puts you right into my calendar. I think students enjoy having that control okay. and the flexibility of making appointments that work for their school schedules. But they can also walk into student services, which okay. is where my office is at. All right. Very good. For more information, contact Zane State College. I've been talking with Heather and Elizabeth. Thank you both for coming on the Thank show you. today. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Back with more Talk of the Town right after this. Talk of the Town. We'll be right back. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. The Old Country Loft in Byesville is full of quality country primitives and a whole lot more. Ruth Dixon and her crew bring you the things you need to decorate your home with country charm and warmth. The Old Country Loft, corner of Main and Glass Avenue, Byesville. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home and personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a, a great, great place, place to live, work, work and play. play. Check out Talk of the Town on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash talk of the town show and stay up to date. 
Welcome back and thank you for watching Talk of the Town. We appreciate you tuning in. There's an event coming up. It's the third annual Walk for Water. And here to tell us all about it, we have uh, Brooke Clendenning and also Josh Hott. Josh is the youth minister at Stop Nine Church of Christ. And um, Brooke is one of the leaders of FCA. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. But good to see you guys and good to have you on the show. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Um, okay, I want to start right here. Tell us about Brooke Clendenning. Okay, so I'm a senior at Meadowbrook High School, and I'm involved with a lot of activities from sports to DECA, which is a business club, um, National Honor Society, but today I'm here for FCA, which is the Fellowship of Christian Athletes that I'm a part of, and on that I am a leader okay. on the leadership team. Okay, and Josh, tell us about a lot of people know Josh from the area, but if you don't know him... Yes, uh, um, my name is Josh Hott, and I'm the youth minister at Stop Nine Church of Christ, and um, I work with the FCA uh, along with Woody and Joe Summers uh, as just kind of leaders, and we kind of help with the leadership team and, and the organization of FCA. Let's go ahead and talk about the event itself, and then we're going to expand into FCA because it's so important that we talk about that. But uh, the third annual Walk for Water, what's it all about? We are looking to drill a freshwater well in Haiti because every 21 seconds a child dies because they do not have fresh water. So our goal is to raise $7,500 to drill a well and this well will serve approximately 7,000 people. Wow. We take it for granted. Uh, we go to the spigot, we turn it on, there's water, we get a bottle of water. But in uh, third world countries, Josh, they don't, they don't have water. Yeah, that's one of the big things that we have, a, a, a blessing that we have, is mm -hmm. we can walk two feet to get water, mm -hmm. or we can grab a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. um, the average says that the average person walks four miles to gather water for the day, and when they get the water, um, it may not even be clean. It's uh, right, it's, so it's usually dirty. Yeah, it's a, it's, so we're, we're extremely blessed, so we want to give the kids an opportunity to try to, to give back to those people. So what is, uh, what's, is it, I mean, is it permissible you can just go in and you can fund this and then they can go in and drill the well? I mean, is there any, it's, it's ready to go if you come up with the funds? Yeah, we work with Walk for Water, which is through uh, Healing Hands International. Okay, And uh, basically, uh, they give us a goal of $7,500. And uh, it, we're able to meet that. Uh, they have people that go in and, and dig the wells uh, and give the, the people water in their community so they no longer have to walk. Uh, as far they can get clean water right there in their community. That's great. Tell us about the event. What's going to take place? So the event is on April 15th, and it starts at 3 p.m. at the Meadowbrook, um, at the football field, at the Eugene Capers field. Um, on that day, you can come, and there's three ways you can be a part of the event. You can be a just be a donor, mm -hmm. and you go online to walkforwater.org mm -hmm. and look for the Byesville event, and you can just donate or you can walk with sponsors. So a lot of a lot of the students do. We go around, ask for sponsors, sponsors, and we walk. Or you can walk without sponsors, and you can just walk and then like bring in a donation on the day, or just sure. come and walk and experience it. Okay, so. and it would be a great experience mm -hmm. too because what you're, what it goes to, uh, it's something. It's a feel good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is. Um, so what time does it start? It starts at 3 p.m. And where again is it going to be? It's going to be at the Meadowbrook High School field, the football field. Okay. Let's talk about FCA. What's FCA stand for? Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And what's Fellowship of Christian Athletes all about? Uh, it's an organization that gives kids an opportunity uh, to take time out of their week and take time out of their school day uh, to be around other Christians. And, and we say FCA and we say athletes, but it's really for any student. Um, but it's just an opportunity uh, for students to kind of uh, take some time to be with other Christians in, in, in school. And it's a great opportunity. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. I was a part of uh, FCA a hundred years ago. But it's been, it's, it's a great organization. You know, um, how, how is it made up? You talked about you're, you're a leader mm -hmm. and are you a leader as well? Yes. So how does, what happens during an FCA event? So on Wednesdays at about noon at our school all the leaders there are about nine of us get together with the advisors and we talk about we usually start with like um, one of the advisors will give a devo and like give us some guidance and we'll talk about events coming up things we need to work on anything that we think's bothering us or we need to talk about 
and then we plan for our big groups. And then every other Thursday, we meet with about 20 other kids, 20 to 25 other kids who just come and enjoy it. And we start with an icebreaker game, and then one of the leaders or a group of the leaders will do a devotional based on the theme we have for the month. Wow, that is that is great. You know, Josh, um, in our day and age, to stand up, you know, for what you believe, um, there's a lot of attacks come against you. Why, why is this so important to you? Uh, for me personally, I, this was something that I didn't really have the opportunity when I was in school. Yeah. Uh, it just started, I think, at Meadowbrook my senior year. So for me to be able to just be a part of it and really, you know, kids go through a lot of things. Yeah. And, and life is tough sometimes. Yeah. So just to be able to be a part of uh, giving some hope and sharing a little hope with them each week. Um, it's exciting. Yeah, I'm glad you, to be a part of it. You know, you can, just because you're an athlete uh, doesn't change who you are. You can be an athlete and be who you are and, and you know, be a person of faith. Exactly. You know, how's it helped you? It's helped me a lot because it just gives me good people to be around. I think that's really important is to be around people who, be around someone who you want to be. So the people I'm surrounded with uh, provide good examples yeah. for me. And it really is a nice, like, on during the day like to get away from classwork and just be able to talk about things and really just work in with your faith talk about things that pertain to you mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. well it, it, the walk for water uh, third annual again it's coming up when and where it's april 15th at 3 p.m at the meadowbrook high school field and if somebody wants to be involved with fca how can they do that uh, we meet every wednesday Okay. Uh, or every every other Thursday. Okay. Uh, but if they wanted to contact one of the leaders at the school or to ask someone at the school, we just get more them. than glad to have them be a part of it. Great. Josh Hot and Brooke Clendenny, thanks for coming on the show and thanks for what you do and thanks for what you stand for. Back with more Talk of the Town right after this. Talk of the Town. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Your one-stop shop for all things computer-related is ABC Technical Services. Whether it's designing a new website, website maintenance, PC repair, or over-the-phone tech support, ABC Technical Services has you covered. ABC Technical Services can set up a new network, install the latest antivirus software, and they even offer full video production and editing services, too. Give them a call at 740-432-5605 or visit them online at abctechnicalservices.com. A name you know, a name you trust. ABC Technical Services. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. For a show schedule of upcoming guests and to watch past episodes, go to yourradioplace.com. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We're coming to you, as always, from U.S. Bank Studio in beautiful downtown Cambridge. Stop in at U.S. Bank and see what they can do for you. That's they right. can do a lot for you. March is DD Awareness Month, and here to tell us all about that is uh, Leanne Oliver, our Leanne Oliver, the Assistant Director and Angel Watkins Community Specialist at Guernsey Industries. Good to have you guys on the show. Thanks for having us. Um, first question is, a lot of folks might not know, what is Guernsey Industries? What do you do? So let's go ahead and start with so that. We are an agency, an industry that in, employs developmentally disabled individuals, adults, within the community. Not only to uh, employ them, but to empower them, to give them the choice you know that all of us sometimes take mm -hmm. for granted in mm -hmm. life. We, we partner with a lot of companies within the community, mm -hmm. um, not only for work, but also just for awareness. We volunteer um, at a traveling food bank. We do a lot of different things 
uh, within the community uh, there at Guernsey Industries. But some of our big things that we do, we make uh, skids for Detroit Diesel mm -hmm. for their engines to be shipped out. We do a lot of work for Cambridge Packaging, a lot of work for Picoma. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that we do that you know, it, our, our big jobs, and mm -hmm. there are some things that we do that are just seasonal, like we did a contract for Monster Glass, just finished that up not too long ago, and we're actually uh, getting ready to start a couple new contracts, not going to name drop yet, we haven't signed, but... Oh, oh come we're, on. Okay. Well, uh, First we're, right here, no, I, we're I'm We're going to have to come back you. for that one, but... Okay, uh, okay, well, I'm not going to pry it out of her, I can see that, so... <laughs> But, you know, uh, I, the whole point, uh, Leanne, is that, you know, um, people with dis disabilities can and are productive members of society, correct? Yes, they are. Um, they can do many things, and we do a lot of packaging. We do a lot of mm -hmm. fine motor activities. Just anything that they, they want to do in person-centered things for goals. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually going to be starting a program here soon, Employment First and Angels kind of Angel's baby. I'm the head honcho for that You're the one. the head honcho for that <laughs> I, one, I'm, too. I'm nervous. It's a lot of pressure, you know, from the state, from the community, <coughs> from, from the county board of DD, but I'm ready to take it on. I'm ready to Good help these individuals as much as I can and, and be an advocate for them, be a voice for them, some of those who yeah. don't don't really yeah. have a voice. You, you're pa you sound passionate about it, so you're oh, ready I am. to go. It's, it's near and dear to my heart. I can I have, see that. I have a family member who's autistic, yeah. and um, she said to me one day, Angel, I just want to be treated like everybody else. Mm. And when you go introduce yourself to someone, do you say, hi, I'm Angel, I'm this? And I say, no. And she said, well, I have to always explain that I'm autistic. Oh. And, you know, so yeah. it, it, it's just not right. Yeah. So yeah. we live in a small community, and, and um, we're very fortunate for that because this community is very embracing. Oh, yeah. Very supportive. It always has been. Um, and and, yeah. and the, we have a community that is very much a backbone yeah. of what we do. You're, uh, you might notice the uh, T-shirts say celebrate community. How are you guys celebrating community? Um, well, the whole month of March is DD Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. So we have all kinds of activities planned. Um, at the beginning of March 3rd, we had free haircuts that um, headquarters in Byesville, Tamara Kennedy and Alyssa Jeffries, they provided free haircuts to um, some of the clients that we serve and individuals that mm -hmm. wanted to come in and have it. And if anybody, anything that was paid was just donation only that day, Good. Um, which was nice of them. Um, and we made these shirts, which the, all the shirts were donated by Beware Sportswear. Great. They um, threw together a box of shirts for us and to help us out, and we were able to make the shirts. And we actually trained some of the individuals to be able to make the shirts using oh, a hot awesome. press. So awesome. Yeah, they're all made in-house. They're all made in-house. Awesome. House. Um, and we have this week we have um, coming up we have a concert it's free to the public it's okay. going to be at Meadowbrook High School okay um, from five to seven it is a free event we're asking everyone in the community to come out enjoy yourselves have a good time the band that's coming is the Blue Spectrum band they're out of Columbus mm. two members of that band are autistic and uh, it, th they're phenomenal uh, I ask a lot of people, look up Blue Spectrum Band, listen to them before you mm -hmm. make a judgment. I mean, mm -hmm. you would never know this. They play a lot of old rock, R&B, blues, um, do covers, and they have some original pieces. Mm. They're pretty phenomenal. And we were actually able to partner with uh, Baymont Inn and Suites. They were able to give us a free overnight stay, four rooms uh, for these individuals in the band, which was very, very nice for them to do that. Uh, we really appreciate that. We also have some other events coming up. We have uh, uh, the Brick Oven Pizza Company will be in our parking lot on March 22nd. That'll be awesome. It'll be open yeah. to the public from 1230 mm. to whenever it kind of dies down if people want to come and get a pizza mm -hmm. made. Great. Um, we have on the 26th, we have Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, Eat Wings raise funds so mm -hmm. everybody can come out and 15% um, of your bill is applied towards... Guernsey Industries. Uh, and the money that we're getting for that is to not only to help create more awareness, but it's to get more job stability and, sure. and, and you know, get some training resources that we need. And Leanne has, has just taken a big leap here. I mean, she's applying for grants after grants to help us not only get technology, but, you know, uniform wear and things like that for these individuals to just be out there and, okay. and be prepared as possible. Okay. We've got about 30 seconds. Um, One other wrap thing it up for me in 30 seconds. Okay. Well, 
What are we doing? On the 28th, we're going to have a paint party paint at party. the workshop. Okay. Yeah. Any more information, you can contact us on our Facebook page at Guernsey Industries. And also, you can call us at Guernsey Industries, 740-439-5017. And, you know, from what you've heard uh, Angel and Leanne talking about, you, the community, uh, you just wrap your arms around Guernsey Industries and get involved. We just want to say thank you very much, and they do as well. I know that. Angel Watkins, Leanne Oliver, thanks for coming in thank today. You. Thanks for all that you do too. Thank you. All right. Hey, we're going to be back to wrap it up right after this. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. That's going to do it for this edition of Talk of the Town. Thank you for watching, and thanks to our guests, Heather Mary, Elizabeth McCune, Josh Hawk, Brooke Clendenning, Angel Watkins, and Leanne Oliver. Huge show today. Hey, you know we're always looking for guests for the show, so if you or someone you know have an interesting story or your group has an event coming up, all you have to do is get a hold of us. You can call Adam up at the station, ABC Communications, 740-432-5605. We'd love to have you on the show. All right, for producer director Adam Green and Perry Bronish, see you next time on Talk of the Town. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach, as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. Your one-stop shop for all things computer-related is ABC Technical Services. Whether it's designing a new website, website maintenance, PC repair, or over-the-phone tech support, ABC Technical Services has you covered. ABC Technical Services can set up a new network, install the latest antivirus software, and they even offer full video production and editing services, too. Give them a call at 740-432-5605 or visit them online at abctechnicalservices.com. A name you know, a name you trust. ABC Technical Services. The Old Country Loft features country curtains in stock or order that special design to customize your decor. You can also pick out braided or decorative woven rug from her large selection in stock. The Old Country Loft, corner of Main and Glass Avenue, Byesville. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home and personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. 
Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a great place to live, work, and play.